And we're going to start in South Windsor with Fox 61's Lauren Zenzi. Uh, she begins our live team coverage. Good morning. Good morning to you both. This morning was a busy morning around this area. South Windsor police at about 3.30 this morning reported to the Valero on Sullivan Ave for reports of a burglary. I'm joined right now by Sergeant Mark Cleverton uh, with the South Windsor Police Department to go over all of the details. What can you tell us what happened? So around uh, 3.30 this morning, we had a passerby actually observe three males with a light colored uh, truck uh, in the front parking lot of the Valero at 856 Sullivan Avenue. Um, he called us immediately. We had been initially uh, told about a uh, attempted ATM burglary in East Hartford, so our officers responded to the scene and found the doors uh, pried open and the ATM missing. And we had seen surveillance video from East Hartford, and it shows them with a cable attached to their truck trying to just pry it right out. Do you assume at this point, um, after speaking with the owner and seeing their surveillance video, is that the similar matter as to what happened in South Yeah, fairly similar. We're going to be sharing some information with East Hartford and any other agencies that had some incidents and seeing if they're, they're related. But it was a, there was a, a tow-style uh, wrap, tow wrap that was used to pull the ATM out of its base and then they loaded it into the back of the truck and left. Have you been seeing a heightened an increase in burglaries lately, especially with ATMs? Yes, yeah, recently over the past couple months, uh, there's been a lot regionally and I know our detectives have been working on information sharing with other agencies to see if they could develop, you know, a good pattern or some sort of uh, suspect information regarding the people who are responsible. And it's pretty shocking to see we haven't been able to obtain the video from South Windsor, but we did see the video from East Hartford and it's pretty shocking to see that the truck just drives as fast as they can away. Luckily in East Hartford, uh, the ATM was not taken out but in this instance it was ripped out yeah so they move pretty quickly uh, this isn't this wasn't their first time uh, obviously you can tell from the surveillance footage um, so they know kind of where to park and where to hook up the ATM and how to pull it out and how quickly they have to move based on alarm systems and the location where where this uh, Valero was it's a, it's a busy area uh, even even at 3 30 in the morning for South Windsor so so they knew they probably had to move quickly to get out of there before anyone showed up now since we haven't seen the surveillance video walk us through what you saw what you could tell us about about um, the incident that happened at that gas station. So the doors were pried open. They used some sort of prying uh, mechanism to open the doors. Once they made entry, they used a tow strap to wrap around the ATM. Then they attached it to the back of the truck. Truck pulled the ATM out through the doors, um, and then they had to carry the ATM up into the back of the truck, and then they left. Now, do you know why this Valero was targeted? There's another gas station of Valero down the street that probably is an easier get out. Uh, is there a reason why this one's being targeted? I know this isn't the first time that this has happened. Yeah, n not that I'm aware of. We do have several gas stations on that road. Um, you know, I, and I, I, it will only be speculation as to why this one compared to some of the other ones. And as of right now, I know that you said that you are working with East Hartford police uh, and other surrounding towns because you are hearing other reports of possible uh, burglaries. Um, do you have any indication as to if this is in fact connected? Uh, you know, obviously we like to think so just based on the timing, but we're going to be sharing information with those agencies. Hopefully they'll share some with us and then we can figure out if it is in fact the same thing. We thank you so much for your time. Thanks so much. I really appreciate it. I know that you guys have a lot of work to do. So for now, we are live in South Windsor. I'm Lauren Zenzi, Fox 61 News. Back to you. All right. Thanks so much, Lauren, for the update there. Now we're turning to Keith McGill where he's picking up our live team coverage from the scene in East Hartford. Keith. Erica, good morning. Yeah, some additional perspective. First on Fox 61, some great information there from Lauren. Want to take you down even further because this is what we're talking about inside this store. Down at the bottom of this ATM, you can see the type of damage connected trying to rip this ATM out of this store. Well, why didn't it happen? As we take a look at the surveillance video we captured from overnight, as you see all kinds of uh, chaos within this store as that all unfolded. Well, it didn't happen, so says the team here at Ultra, because they've had attempts here before, and their latest ATM is bolted to the ground at this point because it's a problem that they continue to see. The team here is saying that they've had people break in at least 10 times or so over the course of the last year. Every time they're left cleaning up with quite a mess. This ATM situation, whether it be in South Windsor, here in East Hartford, we were in North Brantford yesterday. We have seen a whole string over the last couple of months this morning. Want to give you some context. Shattered glass and a major cleanup is what investigators found early Thursday morning at the Shell gas station on Middletown Avenue in North Brantford. 
multiple suspects forced entry into the building. Um, they wrapped a, a cable or a rope uh, device around the ATM and, and ripped it out of the building um, and fled before officers arrived. It was the first of two ATM heists in the community overnight. Investigators say at least three people were involved just after 1 a.m. About 15 minutes later and just minutes away, a repeat crime at the mobile station on Foxen Road. Suspects had a forced entry to the front door um, and removed another ATM from, from the commercial business. It's a problem plaguing communities across Connecticut. In May, we shared this surveillance video. An ATM ripped off the wall and dragged out the door. The Nutmeg Farms on Wolcott Road in Wolcott. They knew what they were doing. These weren't just amateurs doing this. And in March, West Hartford hit twice in one night. An ATM swiped from the shell on Prospect Avenue and surveillance video showing the moments one was pulled through the door at a second shell on Park Road. It took two minutes from the time they got into the place till the time they left. It was barely two minutes. Back in North Brantford, detectives are investigating and say descriptions of the suspects and a gray pickup truck appear to be similar from both locations. So of all of these, as all of these investigations continue to unfold, the team here at Ultra really doing what they can to try to be proactive in this situation. Looking around just this small storm, counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight surveillance cameras. They had good surveillance footage that they hope can help crack this case. They did a really great job cleaning up this store over the course of the last couple of hours. But the reality is the out front, they have all kinds of mangled metal, broken shelves like this that this team had to clean up. They said they needed to be back open for business today, despite what happened here. But again, this ATM is here, still attached to the ground only because it had been bolted in. Tim and Erica, but some significant damage indeed, as the folks here hope that the people responsible are caught sooner rather than later. We're going to send it back to you. And you know, Keith, I'm curious if uh, during the course of your reporting, if you're able to ever find out just how heavy how those things are, how, how much, much they, they weigh, weigh yeah. because that used to be one of the biggest reasons why I think people would not try to steal them. They were yeah, just it was too a big huge and cumbersome. Deterrent. Yeah, right. So.